it, it says we're live, but you're not saying anything. I think we're live. We, we've been live. What up, dudes? <laughs> I, I, you know what? I think we're live. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's, YouTube takes a second. Yeah, it to does. That. YouTube actually takes about 20 to 25 seconds. Is it that um, long? Yeah, I mean, if we want to... Um, nah, what, what are we doing here? Is are we are, are we being Italian? No, I was. Manje, what is it? <laughs> manje, manje. No. <laughs> no, I was looking at that. I was like, I got a, I got an email or not email. I got a notification from YouTube that Linus Tech Tips just released a video. Oh, they do you want to go watch that right now? No, nope, but they don't do videos on Friday, so I'm real confused. This is true. Yeah, this is very also, true. Farmer Cop releasing his uh, top 10 maps for Farm Sim 22. Um, so that's cool. But it's Is only 10 his. Maps out? I don't think there's 10 maps out yet. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. But anyway, they're his top 10 maps. There, so there was a modder right before Christmas that released the top five or the top four Polish maps. And they were all their maps. I was like, you can't. You can't do that. <laughs> it'd be like me releasing a video the, the, you know on like my channel the top 10 dj go ham gaming the, videos the of top all time. 10 videos in farming simulator and releasing all my own videos yeah yeah you, you're better at the, yeah anyway yeah i'm gonna you know what maybe we'll do that this weekend <laughs> just get a number just get a, five <laughs> i'm a terraform and farming Hey, that's my video. <laughs> <laughs> what a jerk. Uh, that'd be perfect. Um, <laughs> there is, there is. All right, so I'm gonna take two words separately oh to be used for all kinds of different things. I'm gonna put them together because that's what I feel like we're doing, and I don't know how comfortable I am with it. Well, you, don't, don't take, don't make me uncomfortable. The I'm just, second I word, just got comfy by sitting down. The second word is bait. Now, there's no bait there. The thing is, bait is something that you put on like a hook or a line and you throw it out. And you, it's like a dance move. You know, I do this and you go, you know, whatever. Um, <laughs> the first word is click. Now, click is like when you have a thing and you, you click. That was pretty good. That was, I should make more noises with my mouth. Um Oh, you make plenty of noises with your mouth, <laughs> so, DJ. Hey, isn't that what, what talking is? <laughs> <laughs> so when you take those click and bait, and then you make them one word, um, I, I think it might irritate some people. So should we start with that, or should we leave that to like halfway through I mean, the we can definitely, I think it's like a hook. You got to leave it dangling, don't you? But that's for the bait. Oh, wait. Yeah, but, but that, that's the... the whole point. If you, if you, if we don't talk it out, talk it over. Then what do we do? Figure it out. Figure it out, man. Figure it out. Andrew's <laughs> with the 10 members. Dude, what are you doing, brother? How Goodness are you? Welcome to the Farm Sim Show, everybody. Um, hey actually, the, the original plan today was to play the game, uh, but we don't play the game. We're definitely not playing it this week. Uh, we thought couple... about it, though. I mean, does that count? Well, the, that was the plan. We didn't think about it. We were planning on it. <laughs> we, we, we planned on it, and then we got like an hour before the show, and we're like, we're not going to have time to set things up. So... Instead, we're going to talk about stuff. And plus, there's some new stuff we got to talk about. So there, There's definitely some new stuff to talk about. And and no matter how um, the click or the bait comes together, um, there's there's this little little thing just off in the corner that just comes in from nowhere. Like, yeah, maybe, though. Like, it because they did that, right? Like, that happened. But it was it was because this little little thing of... I don't know, man. I don't know what to say. I, I we're like I said, we don't know anything. We're just here to tell you what's going on, and, and no one's confirmed or denied anything else. And we're gonna go from there. So we'll we'll learn together. It'll be you know what this is gonna be a discussion with all of us. We're like the big the big fam, and everyone. We're all gonna talk about this because we're all here for the same purpose, right? We're all here for for what is farming simulator. Let's be honest, and we all want to know what's what's happening. So. If you guys have more stuff to talk about with that, we could talk about that too. I, I don't know. I feel like I'm talking around in circles right now, speaking like I'm all around. Mm -hmm. and we're in we're... an octagon and we are like on the third side. Let's keep it going. <laughs> <laughs> we just hey, kind of keep going until we hit something and then we turn a little bit. 
<laughs> That's all. We'll make a circle eventually. Brian! What's going on, Brian? Oh, so, man. Good goodness. to see you, bud. So, uh, should we put a, a Should I hit a button? Uh, I don't, well, we should tell people where they can watch us while they're not watching us right now. Definitely. And okay. we can also explain why you have two live streams going right now. We could talk about that later on, too. I mean, that's, that's kind of part of the so, clickbait, isn't it? Yep. So if you are on YouTube right now, the best place to watch is on Clutch Simulations YouTube channel, which I don't know if he's got CC available or not. I, think I, I hope forgot. he does. I forgot. He forgot. He's also on Twitch and Facebook. I'm on Facebook. What's up on Facebook, peeps? What I did? Uh, I, don't have the, I don't have the button. Oh, I don't have a button either right now. There you go. I don't even have the shouty outie button right now. Shouty outie! Close enough. I, there you go. Nice work. Um... Yeah, thanks for being here. Next thing says roll the intro, and then and then we want to tell you something really cool after we roll the intro. Actually, <laughs> it's their fault. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you said that. The Sim Show. Huge shouty outy goes out to today's sponsor, G Portal Game Servers. <laughs> they promised to pay me in chicken nuggies for this. Did you know that G Portal has the fastest game servers? And in fact, you can choose from a whole plethora of locations so you get the fastest speeds. Plethora. Plethora. I like that word. G Portal Game Servers is also the easiest way to get you and your friends together in one game, regardless of which platform you play on. If it's Xbox, PlayStation, PC, any of you, you can all play together. And don't worry, you still get to play with all your mods. In fact, you can get 25 gigabytes of mod space on a G Portal Game Server. And even with all that, though you're getting the fastest server, some of the most amount of mod space out there. I'm going to give you 10% off with a link down in the description. And believe me, that's like the best deal out there. You're not getting that just anywhere. In fact, I've looked, guys, and believe me, I'm looking for the best price if I have to pay to hang out with these two jabronis. And just remember, guys, G Portal Game Servers, they're faster than DJ Goham going off topic. We may herd cats here, but we heard our livestock over on G Portal Game Servers. Make sure you get your 10% off. Link in the description. It... I don't know why, but it froze. Like, it just froze. So I Did missed it? the part where he just royally just burned oh. me. Maybe you turned it off. I don't know. Did you not been a member on your channel for 47 months? That's not quite 69, but we're getting up there. That's I, I'd spend too much money on you for no reason. I agree. <laughs> I love you. You're awesome. <laughs> 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 to be fair, I think I was a member on your channel before you were a member on mine. Look, if we're gonna, you know, if we're, we're having member <laughs> measuring contests, I feel like I <laughs> probably set suck. up. <laughs> <laughs> was that out loud? <laughs> it did not sound good at all when I started <laughs> off talking about it, and then it just got worse and worse. <laughs> <laughs> can, we, can we just roll that back and just do this whole thing over again? <laughs> let's, let's be honest though. You you tuned in for that. You you did. You, you guys you guys hit watch stream for a reason. <laughs> Red dirt, what's going on, man? <sighs> oh boy. Oh, um, <laughs> I can't believe I just said that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Somebody clip that and make sure that everyone sees it. Um let's uh Let's move on from this 47 month relationship. Look, I subscribed to you the day after. All right. Not that I was copying you, but I was like, well, I'll probably do that. Too. Sorry, Kermit. This is not the normal farm sim show content. Welcome in, guys. <laughs> don't, don't listen to him. This is pretty on par. Uh, speaking on par, uh, remember those balloons that Sassy ordered for my birthday on December the 30th? Yes. They still back there. Look at that. I mean, how do you they, how did they get the balloons to stay up like that? I, I don't understand. There's three of them. What what you don't see is like the the six on the floor that are just like throw us away. <laughs> Squad contest. No, thank you. Um <laughs> I mean, we can start with that. I mean, the the channel, the community has made me do over 200 squats I think in the last couple of days. My legs are my legs are on fire. 
You guys Fire. are generous. You guys are crazy. Appreciate yeah. you. Um, should should we just start right off? You got a screenshot to share that you want to? I don't have start? it. I, I don't. Oh, I can bring it up though. I'm sure we got because we got pictures, right? We had. Yeah, we we've got a little. <clears throat> we got a little. It's not that it's proof, but it's not. Not not proof. Not not. It's not not proof. Um and and so it and wasn't you, all clickbait, is what we're saying. Right. Right. And and there, there's you know there's a story, but we're just gonna start with this, and then we'll go from there. Um, so let's see here. Let me share screen. So G Portal had uh, yes, that G Portal had a line of uh, text on their Twitter page. Twitter. Um, reply with the uh, DJ Goham to and farming sim. That says, uh, what would you like to see in FS25 that's not uh, in FS22? Just you know, check a Discord. Somebody sent me a message making sure it's not somebody going, no, 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 don't do it. <laughs> Too late <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> Too late now. Um, yeah, so that was a an official page talking about Farm Sim 25. Now, to, to take off my tinfoil hat for one quick second. Oh, it was on? It was definitely on because I was the one that notices that like, three o'clock in the morning last night i just want to clip that whole thing that was great <laughs> <laughs> oh it's definitely on i was up till 3 a.m last night <laughs> <laughs> we're so getting demonetized <laughs> oh 100 <laughs> percent. but to take my tinfoil hat off for a second we like we were talking about before this in stream like the two of us have talked like the next farm sim game is going to be at four great world we was just was talking like it's gonna be fs25 because it doesn't make sense for it to be next year with the way are the timings all so we're like it's gonna be 25 so we just kind of casually nicknamed it farm fs25 farm sim 25 we said that a bunch just between the two of us or even in stream in the farm sim show here i think when we've been talking and I think but, the whole community as a whole is kind of like nickname the next one Farm Sim 25. Probably going to be. We don't know for sure. So we have no proof. But to, to, to take that into effect, that could have been the reply right there. It's just mm -hmm. this. Well, it's Farm Sim 25. And I get it. It makes sense. Was it just an accident? Mm, it, there some, does somebody know information that no one else does? I... Or, or were they coerced um, into heading in the correct direction? Maybe by somebody we know. I don't know. It could have been. It could have been. Um, so I'm not going to say that that we looked at that screenshot right there and freaked out for, what, 30 minutes? <laughs> yeah, maybe a little bit. I mean, minutes. you've been holding this for almost 48 hours now. No, it's only been since last, last night. It's not okay. as long as my streams, okay? Fair enough. So we can get into that in a second too. Yeah. So it's um it you know, I didn't really think about that and was looking at it when I commented on it yesterday. And and you hit me up over like, look at this. Like, <laughs> yeah, what about oh <laughs> well, they they said it, they said it right there. So we we even had to I think there was a couple um not not phone calls, but messages that had to be said, like, hey. So we saw this. We're just curious if anybody's in trouble. So it turns out, should we roll with the rest of it? I mean, you you're on a you're on a roll. You can't just stop now, can you? Uh, I don't think so. So uh, somebody might be in trouble, but I don't think it's anybody else. <laughs> I don't even think they're in trouble. I think, like I said, I think they're gonna be fine. I think it's it's once again, it was. It's a reply to another comment as well, which the, the Farm Sim 25 is the lingo that's been used for the next farming simulator game. But we haven't seen a major company who would not joke about that. Host that's, this is true. Like You're right. Yeah. Now, this isn't Giants saying it, mind you. Like, if, if this yeah. was the Giants Twitter account saying something like that, I would be like, okay, this... I would be a, a lot more inclined to say okay it's 100 percent confirmed now um it's farms to 25 yeah now g portal yes they do have connections with giants mm -hmm. but you got to remember as well that the person who's running the g portal twitter account they are a large company they span several different games that person probably doesn't have direct contact with giants i'm 
Or I'm pretty sure that person is just like the Twitter person or the the, the yeah. online person. It's got to be right. <clears throat> or do they? Or do they? It's... Or is it? Or is it David from G Portal that we talk to all the time? Ah, uh, well, fault? well, <laughs> it uh, could have could have very. <laughs> See, this is four B's got it. We need answers. <laughs> what have you done, Dave? <laughs> but once again, I, like I said, this is this is this is terminology we've used in the past. So right, and it went over my head completely until uh, it's always Dave's two fault. hours ago. It's always, it's always Dave's, Dave's fault. fault. Bless his heart. <laughs> uh. <laughs> anyway, so it's we look at this. We go, okay, cool, but. What does it really change? Nothing. Our our outlook does it change our layout? Does it change anything? Does it be like, oh, yeah, we figured that. I think, I think the assumption of the community, at least, well, what's between me and him, at least, I think we're on the assumption that it's going to be Arms and Twenty Five, regardless of what G Portal's putting on their Twitter page, regardless of what Giants is or is not telling us right now. Um, that's my assumption, at least. I think that's where the game's going to be. Um, I'm still a little bit disappointed. I want the two-year game cycle, personally. <laughs> you, I want more. You, you want more content. What What if Giants kept it with Farm Sub 22, but then threw in two extra maps, uh, three or four hundred new pieces of equipment that just added everything to base game of Farm Sub 22 in at the end of 2023 at the end of this does it year. change the engine does it change like some of the bigger aspects of it that's the way i want i don't think you could change the game engine exactly that's in a game that's already out and we have talked about that in the past like is it is it time for giants to change the the giants engine do we is it is it are we done with that should we change the way that that runs is, are we are we there yet or is there still I, room with the giants engine as is right now can it still be built onto I just, I just want my trees to stop flickering. That's all I want. All right. Well, let's. Speaking of your trees, let's talk about that because that's a bit of an issue you had this week. I, I have not been able to to record a video that I need to record for tomorrow because of trees that go. I might actually be able to show this. Um, let me see if I can find it quickly here. I know I've got a video. I, I, I will say that it's, it was. Uh, Today, granted, I'm playing on a map that's four times larger than any map that I play on. It's also not something going to Mod Hub, so you know there's a chance that whatever happens with tree flickering on yes. Mod Hub is affecting this. But I have seen this before, though. I'd still like to, you know, upload it to. And like, how bad was it for you? Just out of curiosity here. Uh, do we have the, uh, uh, enough to where I contacted Giants directly? Like, so was it the whole trees? So, for DJ's talking about, if you guys are not aware, like the the trees on uh, UMRV for him were flickering. It depends on on resolution and a couple other factors. It's bizarre because I've have had it happen a few times. Look, if I can use max settings everywhere else, playing at 4K at 200 percent. That's what I want. I want 8K. Let's see. So this is UMRV. Let's see if I can, like, if you look at the background up in here, I'm getting some flickering, like, through here at times. And is that similar to the ones you're talking about? Like, is that the flickering you were getting as well? Yeah. So I've got a before and after. And if you just pretend like these uh, screenshots go back and forth a thousand times a yeah, millisecond. I anymore. I have to load this up on Discord, though, so give me just a second. I want to see the spot you're talking about. Oh, the whole map. Yeah, there we go. See, this is the flickering I'm talking about right there. You can kind of see it in the back. Yeah. Uh, I don't have a lot of trees close up in this shot, but this is the reason why I took it from this angle, was to keep the flickering down a little bit, but I definitely do get it. Now, that being said, I am on, I think, 5,000 speed or something silly like that while I'm recording this little this little spot here. Yeah. But I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's a. Uh, I mean, it just takes the green trees and makes them brown. So it kind of like transitions to the next cycle. Yep. And then makes them go. Brrr. Uh, Killian saying reset your PC. I'm nah, sure that that has I, has been done, right? I reset that PC twice a day. Fair enough. Um, it uh, yeah, it gets turned because it's a Ryzen seven thousand. That one specifically, um, it doesn't like to be put to sleep, so I just put it to bed. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the same thing. Crap. Uh, I, I, I kill it. I take its power away from it. 
Um, turn off um, foliage shadows, but see, the game doesn't look as good with foliage shadows off. You know, Kabota, welcome listen. in, man. How are you doing today? Today, up, tonight. With a so, big $20 donor. Appreciate you, my friend. Uh, anyway, honestly, that's that's my only uh, my only thing. That's your granted, problem with that one. Okay. I, again, I will preface. I play at 4K. I play at 200% resolution scaling. Yeah. And you're getting that uh, problem with it, eh? Mm. I, yeah, I play with every setting completely maxed out, but I'm also using DLSS on quality. So it's basically taking that 8K downscaling at, I think, the, what, 1080, and then okay. bumping it back up. So I max out at 1440. I don't go above that. Yeah. Um, because there's no need as far as I can see. I don't see the difference on my monitor. And I would say 99% of the people will not notice a difference, at least in the videos yeah. I make. I'm I'm definitely like in the 1% of the 1% of like the playing farming simulator at its like just sheer yeah. edge. Yes. But but I want to. That's like the one of the two games I play every day. And I play for hours. I want it to be awesome. Chat, um, everybody that's listening right now, I just like to point out this is the guy that used to play on console exclusively. And I was pretty you're pretty happy with that too. And Adam, you didn't need to go to PC to over to PC. And now that he's on PC, he has to have it at 4K. Do you remember when I played? Uh, was it Ravenport? I played on PC, but I used an Xbox controller, and I wouldn't tell people that I was on PC because I didn't want people to stop watching. Yes, you were you were very I concerned was, about that. I was so scared that people would be like, "Oh, he plays on PC now. Screw this guy." I was terrified. Thank you guys <laughs> so much for supporting through that. Um, uh, will it run ten times more better than ever? Uh, I. I just don't wanna. I did. I'm not saying it won't. I, I, you're you're probably right. I like Paul's hat in his picture there. That's a good hat. What is that? That's oh, a farm sim hat. Yeah, that's nice awesome. Hat, nice hat, buddy. Um, I just, yeah, I just don't wanna. Fair enough. You know what? Like, I mean, that's that's one of the nice things. <sighs> Like we used to talk a lot more, I think, in um, of the changes going to PC from console was the mods back, especially if like Farms was seventeen. Oh, it was yeah. the mods were you couldn't have John Deere on a console in seventeen, right? Yeah. So it was like, well, how do I get like how many people wanted John Deere equipment back in Farms was seventeen, and they couldn't have it because they were on console. And now I think that we've gone two cycles. The changes are, there's very few things you can't do on console anymore that you can do on PC only. That's pretty sweet, like. There are at least two or three evenings every week where I'll just sit down with the Xbox at the very end of the night. Like I'm done playing uh, the other games that I'll play in the afternoons or evenings, kind of, you know, chill out for the rest of the day. I will pop on. Um, uh, oh, what is that logging TV show on Netflix? Um, um, honey Boo Boo. I'm trying oh, to think of the it. I'm trying to think of the name, but they all sound really bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, big, uh, I, can't say is it, is, it. I think it's called Big Timber. Which I think that's it. Says, I think you're right. I think that's it actually. Not that I've watched it. Right. But, anyway, yeah, so go, I'll, got it too. I mean, yeah, Big Timber. It's an awesome show, by the way. Check it out. It's pretty cool. Um, it makes you look at the in farms and be like, oh, we have it real easy. Oh man. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but I put that on and I'll uh just play on Xbox. Play on Mon Map for like 30 minutes in the night out. So cool. Yeah. And you know what? And it's it is unfortunate. Like there are the odd things that can't come to console. And like we were talking about, the map that that everyone's talking about right now, of course, is Upper Mississippi River Valley. Yep. Which we have been speaking and we just showed it just a second ago. I can fire it back up. Yeah. But this is right here is one of the reasons this map can't come to console. Yeah. But the, I, this is another one of those things as well where the modder has no interest in bringing it to Mod Hub. Yes. It, it, they have made the map that they want to make, which inherently would have to go through. Now, uh, I've got a topic that we can talk about if you would like. We've got a bunch of stuff to talk about, but I know we're we're kind of on a time crunch today. We could Taylor, talk Farm, time. Taylor Farms talked about uh, getting Frankenmuth 4X on the Mod Hub. I've okay. got a, um, I guess while we're here, we can talk about it now. Now's at a great well, time. A perfect uh, timing to talk about it. So Taylor Farms, who go, goes by Michigan Farming Maps on social media, uh, he made a very interesting announcement the other day. Um, said that they would be moving forward with the 4X version of Frankenmuth for Xbox and PlayStation players 
once the PC only version was completed. Um, I think they're making that PC only version not for Mod Hub. Maybe they're going to do it for Mod Hub. I'm not sure. Um, however, they said the console versions of 4X will be a split off, a different version completely, as some things need to be removed or changed. Sound familiar? Um, <laughs> yeah. To allow for all those platforms. When he spoke with Giants, uh, the Mod Hub team, they had mentioned that there's no officially set restrictions against map size on consoles. They do just say that due to technical issues, it's unlikely that large maps like 4X and highly detailed maps are even functional on the console generation, no matter which generation that may be. Um, he said, uh, however, Giants have mentioned that they are happy to take a look at the project and test it on those once it is completed. Interesting. Very cool. Also, so, should, should we clear up the uh, FS25 thing real quick? We can, but I, I just I just noticed, since we're talking Frank and Frankenmuth, um, uh -huh. Mod Network had something posted today on it. And I never even thought about it until just now. Oh? Uh, boom. So 1.8 was released on the Mod Network by Taylor Farms today. And that yeah. kind of caught me off guard a little bit. Yeah, because it took like what, you know, a, oh. a two days for the for the update to get there from Mod Hub. Is that what you're talking about? No, I think this is a new version. I don't think this is the Mod Hub version. <clears throat> is it is it one point eight on Mod Hub? Do you remember? <clears throat> just just take it down. Just okay, it down. all right, never mind. <laughs> it's our it's the number one update on our. On our topics today. I, I thought it was 1.7, though. Was it 1.8? <laughs> that was the old one. Update came out this week, yeah. Uh, uh, okay, okay. Yesterday, yesterday, I think. Anyways, that's so it's two days then. It took a yeah. while to get over there. Usually yeah. they're faster getting them onto that site, which is funny. It must have just yeah. not updated. Anyway, uh, yeah, the new new version of Franken News is awesome. Definitely check it out. Um, it's a great map, yeah, for sure. Yeah, let's... And it's not European like I always keep on thinking it is. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's a German town. <laughs> in uh in michigan yes all right so let's uh yeah let's clarify what happened here so we kind talk about of this some more you still you're not done talking about this no 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 because we're not there's a part two to this that we're not sharing okay we need to share the part two you have the part two pulled up can uh, you i mean i can okay so we had can we talk talk about um uh physical beings that we spoke to but no names sure Okay, so we talked to some people involved, and we're like, "Hey, uh, Clutch found this, and 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 he's we're thinking this. What's going on here?" And was like, "No comment. We can't talk about that. <laughs> if you want to talk about it, you can. We don't speculate and, on your guys' rumors. Yes, yeah, so, we got. <laughs> yeah. Um, and and it was kind of like, why in the world did this just pop up out of nowhere? It seems like this just." Came out of thin air almost like, hey, what do you guys want to see in FS25 that's not in FS22? And and then I realized that it's 100% my fault. Yes, in a way, because uh, well, you called it. You said I, farming sim 25. Yeah. The reply was FS25. Yeah. And then I simped out a little bit, but I don't know. Because you ignored the whole comment that they confirmed that you, yeah, and yeah, they replied to farming sim too, which is interesting. Yep. Just saying. Anyway, that's my fault, and and it clutch. It, it's his. I may change the title of the stream that hasn't gone well. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so let's move on. About it. There you go. Gotcha. So, um. So worried about it. Not, <laughs> Not gotcha in that way. Just gotcha is like we we end into the now you know why. Let's move on. Uh, yeah, UMRV. That's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> <laughs> change this topic real quick. Uh, did you know that said modding works at Giant Software now? I did. I did see that. Um, yeah, that's he's been not, in the works for a bit now. It sounds like. Yeah, I don't think you just get a job one day and then move from uh, <laughs> Poland to uh, to um, Czech. Yeah, Republic that's right. He was in Poland day. too, wasn't he? Lived in Poland and, and moved to the Czech Republic the next day. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think his, that happens. Uh, I saw his post on, was it Facebook or Twitter? I can't remember now, but where he's like, he going had to the one office or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, I was like, oh, that's cool, man. That's good yeah. for him. So, yeah, congratulations. Again, I am Sid slightly Mike. disappointed, though. Why? Because it, it most likely means we'll see less modding done by Sid. Oh, yeah. He said he's done. 
He is like going 100% in on working at Giants. He's so giving that, it everything I mean, he's got. That's, I, I don't know exactly what he's, I didn't read what he was going to be in charge of there exactly. Uh, yeah, I don't think many people share what they're doing. Um, just so, from our conversations, now this is not on the record, but just from the conversations I've had with him, it seems like he's going to be modeling stuff for um, future games. So, so Farm Sim 25, um, actually, he's making models for Farm Sim 25. Got it. Yeah. Um, so the uh, the the topic here says uh, he may not be creating mods for us to use a mod hub anymore, but he will now be creating base game and DLC items for us to enjoy. Congratulations, Sid Modding. Fair enough. Um, I mean, he's a talented individual, obviously. I think we have all would agree that. I mean, he's one of the more prolific modders in the community. Like I said, I'm disappointed that we're no longer going to be seeing his mods posted um sad. As, it's sad yeah yeah because that was uh i mean it's, i think dj is probably gonna be more sad than i am i mean that was if it's not the tlx okay. that's being posted on his on his thumbnails it's a sid modding mod <laughs> no comment dj no look you called me out and i got nothing all right <laughs> yeah no no i owed you one i think didn't i <laughs> yeah no he was he was one of the the modder partners that worked with that was one of his release partners that he worked there with and um and it, I mean, you're losing a, a work colleague, more or less. You know, yeah, no kidding. But, um, but you know, he's able to support his family better now. I don't know what job he was doing beforehand, but he left it to do this. So it must have been, this must Fair have enough. been good. So I'm excited for him. I'm happy for him. He got his dream job, he says. That's awesome. I mean, the, what do you say to that, right? If you, yeah. you've been working towards this, that's awesome. Good for him. Dreams yep. come true, I guess. There you go. Yep. Uh, some other stuff going on in the world of Farming Simulator this week. Dominic, who released the XJ last week, that epic SUV uh, Jeep thing. Um, it's what, not a it's, Jeep thing. It's a Jeep Cherokee. It's, a Jeep it's Cherokee. like a 1989 <laughs> Jeep Cherokee. That thing is awesome. <laughs> it's pretty epic. Uh, somebody commented on a video and said that it tips over too easy. No, it Stop doesn't. going full speed and turning. You're welcome. It's perfect. It runs uh, 100%. Leap. It has some of the best. I think it has some of the best handlings of any vehicles that are in farm sim. Yeah, but you can't turn and then not expect it to flip a thousand. Of course times not. Either. But you you can't turn a tractor at full <laughs> speed half the time and not expect it to flip over. That happens as well. Um. Anyway, he's working <laughs> on an update for it. I don't know if it's been submitted for testing or not, but I do know we're getting new body wraps, beacon lights, uh, tracks, including full tank tracks all the way That's down and forth. Amazing. Lighting bars, lighting options for 360 degree coverage around the whole thing. Um, and a few more things. He said the update will be coming next month. One thing I hope he does, I want more engine options. It's not quite powerful enough for me. <laughs> I want like the Give 1100 the power, uh, horsepower like supercharged engine in it just so you can make it a little bit more ridiculous at times. Come on, make it happen. Come on. <laughs> It'd be amazing. Especially if you're um, going to go like the full tracked version. I just want to see that thing like doing, you know, 320 miles an hour across the map. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> All right. I kind of want that too. Let me alone. <laughs> I do. Yeah, of course. I'm, um, I'm preaching to the choir here, aren't I? <laughs> yeah. Um, what <laughs> if I, track. what if I told you, you could make a pile of trees and then light them on fire. What if I told you, <laughs> Come on. <laughs> so uh, I want to see fire. Um, I was actually complaining to who was it recently? I'm trying to think who it was now. I've been, I've been complaining to people. I'm like, I need more fire mods. I need some mods to, like make fire and like campfires and stuff. BC. <laughs> I love BC Bueller. He's like, this will be cool. Yeah. Uh, on that. Yeah. All right. So next up, BC Bueller Farms land clearing pack. <laughs> Good timing, brother. Good timing. Perfect timing. Uh, so he has announced what his next mod will be. He actually did a live stream on this last Saturday. This, this information is a week old already. I can't even believe it. Uh, the pack consists of a jerry can. Let's see if we can find it. There it is right there. Um, that <laughs> looks like that it causes fire. Now, I, I need to see I, how this works. I need to test this. Uh, yeah, I at want all this. Because I, I want, haven't. I, could I have so many ideas for this stuff. B BC, I did get the the thing, the the link. I did get the link. I just I didn't get a thing. At, well, yeah, you're not in the other thing. I want the thing, man. Where's my somebody clip? My that. Discord's open. <laughs> I don't have a thing. Um, and he's also got the quick claw bucket. Now, this is pretty cool. So I need you to listen with both ears, not just the left one. I know you only use the left one most of the time when I talk. Um, the idea you're lucky I use any when you talk, man. Come on now. <laughs> What's, what are you going to tell me about? Talking to my good ear. 
All right. <laughs> oh, he is in the thing. Oh, it's just your fault then. Oh, uh, apparently, it's my fault. Don't, that's, that's, download I'm BC's. Um, his uh, go to his the link thing for the yeah. links. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I only got Edgewater. I think it was that's the only thing I grabbed from it. Oh yeah, you got to do the other stuff. Anyway, the idea being behind this pack is for clearing trees and bushes off of fields to make it easier to farm on. As you can see here, things have disappeared. Um, the cool. jerry can choose to make trees just completely disappear and says it happens almost instantaneously and is compatible with all platforms. The quick claw bucket is a jack of all trades and could do, as Jeremy Clarkson would say, many things. Uh, it's a normal bucket with either 2,500 liters or 5,000 liters capacity. It's got a grapple oh. from grabbing stuff and moving. Um, and you can toggle between a bucket or a grab like instantly i guess it's just a I, clicky button. I was wondering like back when the um the, the the platinum expansion came out why we didn't have that implement with the volvos it didn't make sense to me yeah well it gets better um it can also knock down trees which he says is a little finicky but it works uh it can also dig up stumps and bushes and gets rid of grass leaving a field texture ready to farm on there's a lot more fine tuning he needs to be uh needs to do at least as of last week but uh this is absolutely epic so you can burn trees down or burn shrubs down can you burn whole trees down it doesn't sound like it but you can burn shrubberies yeah i'm i'm not sure how the fire got there but i i, I, I want to mess I've with had... this now I've had the mod for almost a week now. I really should have loaded this up. I, I didn't know this was. I didn't download this one. I was looking through the stuff. I didn't see this. I'm now. I got to go download this. Yeah, I really should have prepared better for this. Anyway, maybe next week we'll have a better preparedness for this. And uh, BC hit definitely we'll, hit we'll me up to the ground, man. Yep. <laughs> Love burn it, it down. Give me, some Give me some more fire. And you know what? The other thing I noticed you were saying that looking through that text, being able to dig up stumps. Yeah, that is interesting. Yeah. And as you know, I don't make anything up. I just read what he wrote. And yeah, wrote yeah you don't make words. anything up at all, never. I mean, what? I don't. Wait, that's me. Yeah. Never mind. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you do stuff next day. Look, you had an eight-minute video on a 4X map. Come on. <laughs> I even I got in trouble that mine wasn't long enough, and it was like 15. Yeah. Yeah, I got a. I'm really but hey, it was a preview, about... guys. It was a preview. In fact, you know what? We're talking. Let's talk, let's talk a little bit about this right now. Upper Mississippi River Valley is on its way. It's on its way. DJ, you've tried it, right? Yeah. It's a, it's a fantastic map. In fact, yeah, somebody has good. a live stream of it going right now. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> like right this very minute. If you <laughs> do, I dare bring it up. Let me he just really does have it. a. Do you have it going. up right now? Yeah. Also, it, Trucker, it? you know I love you, man. You know I love you. I had to get on you. Um, also, <laughs> Trucker Mancy will be here. I think it's in oh, four boy. weeks. Is it four weeks from tomorrow? One, two, just, three, four. Four just, weeks from tomorrow! Yeah! I, I was wondering how this was going to look, but... Oh, wrong one. That's that's my script. That's the script. Wrong one. Why is it showing that all of a sudden? Oh, yeah, yeah. Here, it's, it's over here. Oh, yeah. You gotta act like I had to stream. There you go. Um... <laughs> you've got i didn't know you could have two live streams going at the same time if you guys know oh, yeah. this yeah it's just two different uh Perfect. different things. i think sony back when they were talking about the ps5 for the first time yeah when they did the announcement of that i think they had like six or seven live streams going at the same time there's 30 people still watching right now so if you guys want to see um some upper mississippi river valley right now should, i am should, streaming it live right <laughs> this very second <laughs> you should definitely post the link to the stream in that in that stream well, let's do that yeah, there you go. Uh, while he's one here. Going while way. he's doing that, I'll uh, talk about uh, Hispanic modding real quick. Uh, so, uh, r no, a street. Did, did you do both? You got a smiling face. I don't even want to know. Uh, container mods. Uh, he had to remove the automatic coupling that the containers did when you stack them uh, yeah. because the top one wasn't working with tension belts. So that's gone. But they both work with tension belts, and they uh, they work with platinum stuff as well now which it didn't seem like he was very happy about, but it works. Uh, he also created a separate mod to use as an adapter now to grab a hold of the uh, DLC containers, but they work by using like big tension straps. So I'm thinking like put a car or a tractor under it or something and using that to move stuff now instead of containers. Anyway, there's, my brain turned. Uh, Matt, there's 26. so many things you can do with like the, those containers and the straps. Like, 
I, I think we've. I feel like we've just kind of touched the surface of some of the crazy stuff that's possible with that stuff. If you guys think hard, there's kind of quite a few things you can mess around with that stuff. <laughs> uh, Matt twenty six is bringing back his uh, Case IH axle flow pack from Farm Sim nineteen. Yep. It's got the fourteen forty, the sixteen sixty, and sixteen eighty, and it has that old like dark red case with the black line down it instead of the new look. I yeah, love the it. old style, the old school one. Yep. Uh, 82 Studios still working on the TLX 1982. He should have uh, um, a stream going later today. today. He stopped by my stream last night briefly. Um, I know he's still working on this stuff, so we'll probably see it. Uh, maybe see some more stuff on this next week, I would assume, right? Yeah. Uh, EY Modding announced today uh, that his next mod is going to be the John Deere 4010 4020. A uh, nice old classic mod. He says it's going to take about three weeks to get the 3D model done. And after that, I'll work on getting it in game. It seems like it's taken him one and a half to two weeks to get stuff into game and get it submitted. Um, that's it. Uh, that McCormick that we fast. talked to, Yeah, that McCormick, he started it, I think it was in mid December. And it's already with Giants for testing. The John Deere A is back with Giants and did fail testing. Uh, I think that's like the number one requested mod right now. Um, <laughs> and uh, speaking of containers, Yost modding. Uh, it's, it's a little bit of bad news, a little bit of good news. And Yost is not here because he had plans. Um, but uh, his uh, wood warehouse, that container distributor, where you put like the DLC mm. containers on it, and it just like sends the wood somewhere else. It needs to be. Yeah. Uh, it was rejected, just straight up rejected from the mod hub. Nothing wrong with it. it was I wonder what the reason is for that. Did they give him any reason? I don't know, but there's a part two. Uh, okay. It appears to be accepted as an update. It was mobile utilities mod. So that pack is getting updated ASAP to include it. That's funny. So, so it's going it... to... I mean, yeah, you don't get a new mod, but you get an update to an older mod. Which has container distributing um i was just looking through quickly through the testing list they haven't gotten through many of these this week i thought they'd get through a lot more there well it was only updated a couple times this week i think it was like monday tuesday yesterday and today okay so that's like four out of five days but no it wasn't um, updated monday still 174 mods to get through and that's they still got good. lots of they got lots of work to do here it was better than gonna be busy guys was it two or three hundred that it was last week and the week before so yeah, I mean, I think it was like a, it was only like 200 at the start of the week. I remember looking at it and I'm like, okay, that's it's that's a lot, but the dates have, have have dropped at least. I mean, they were quite high before that though. So yeah, Anyways. they're they're working through them. Plus, um, so you know, something, some, and the estimated time for newly submitted mods is 69 work days. Um, the estimated time for newly submitted mods turns out is a completely different list but we don't know the estimated time for submitted, like resubmitted mods. Okay. That's the only thing. Maybe one day they'll put it up, but uh, yeah, the failure rate's pretty high in 2023. Is it? So, yeah, it's it's pretty epic. Um, Interesting. Okay. I, liked, I would love to hear percentages from uh, like Mr. Marcel on like how, like how many times are the average people have to submit a mod before it gets through and I don't I, know if they have those stats anywhere. I do remember at one point they had a three strikes and you're out like Three strikes and they would not test it again. I think it was for a certain amount of time or even at all. Oh, really? Yeah. So, um, huh. I wonder if that's still true. I don't know. Anyway, uh, let's talk about some new mods that came out this week. Some pretty exciting stuff. Um, stuff? Yeah. Prairie Farms, Michigan. This is this, from Taylor Farms. This has been pretty and, popular out there. I've been seeing lots of guys putting videos out on this. And it is flat. I mean, it's. <laughs> it's a big flat. flat field open fields man it is a big flat and the cool thing is your starting farm is right across the road from the store <laughs> so you know what if you want to do some big field north american farming and so it, look at that. I, I would say it's somewhat easy mode i guess a little bit just big i think there's 12 or 13 fields on here it, it, it kind of reminds me oh boy uh doll ranch oh a yeah, yeah, that, yeah, right? yeah 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 why haven't we seen that for Farm Sim 19 or 22? Who made that? Uh, I don't know, but it was cool. I like that map. That was a cool. Yeah. Map. Um. Anyway, Anyways. this is this is made for people that just want to do farming. I think I made the comment in my video yesterday. If you want to do arable farming and you are real intent on arable farming, yep. you want to do a lot of it with some big equipment. This that one. Yeah, for sure. Do it that one. And there's also fields. other farms around too. 
So and it's you. still like it's it looks it still looks nice. There's mm-hmm. nothing wrong with it. There's details and yeah. Yeah, you got ditches through there, different houses. All of the red buildings are placeables as well. So if yep. you want to build your own farm with all of the cool placeables on the map, you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> I, that voice just came out, but I know exactly where that's from. Moving on. Uh, the Steiger ST Series 3 from Bottle Hog. Yeah. 2003. I mean, it's colorful. Yep. Uh, here it is. Yeah, I believe Ugh. I believe this is the 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 pc version which is now available for all platforms it's dropped as a new mod so either way it's just so colorful it's, it's so bright it hurts my eyes it yeah it's it's pretty pretty Matthew, there it's i think matthew's got this one on reserve already yeah this is very american <laughs> <laughs> very very american i um uh <laughs> could almost be considered heavy-handed in the rest of the world um <laughs> we go with the pink panther aha uh-huh. yeah it's uh it's very bright so there it is that's a good map to see for fun i I would agree with that 100 percent. a parker 4000 gravity wagon from rooster mods Uh, a lot of people were excited to see this on mod hub it dropped on pc i think monday or tuesday yeah we're talking about this beforehand right and console community was very and then the next day it got an update for all platforms so it's cool you can hook a couple of them together for all platforms or is it a lizard yeah yeah yeah. okay cool, cool cool Yeah, uh, I mean, he's got his Parker uh, 2000, I think, the smaller yeah, one. It's just uh, the one. It's the one, uh, I don't even know what you call it, the one trough, right? Yeah. What's up, Brandy? That's yeah, great. So, yeah, check it out. I mean, it is it is a very cool. Use this with, like, maybe the smallest field on, uh, what you call it, and you'll be good. Um, oh, what you call it? Yeah, check this. All right, so... Look how far <laughs> off the ground this is. This, all right, this machine is way bigger than it looks. It looks like it's just on the back of a semi truck. No, that semi truck is massive in game. This is bigger. <laughs> it's so big. I want it. I, I always struggle with like picking up the, this amount of well, not this amount of logs, but I even find like even the 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 wheel loaders. Mm-hmm. You grab like if you get a full grab on you know like a half dozen good sized logs, that wheel loader is still driving across the map like this, and you're struggling to keep that rear end mm-hmm. down. Yeah, well, this is uh, stationary, which is nice. Also, I know, but you don't how actually well need are those use... legs going to implant in there? I'm just curious if it's how well it does. I think you could it. you could push the limits. <laughs> I mean, it's on there. Also, it's got a uh, strap, so you don't actually have to go yeah every time. You could just go. I love that. I love love that. <laughs> That's great. It's cool, and it fits. Uh, it's got an adjustable fifth wheel on the bottom, so you could just back into it with a semi truck. It's made for both of the Volvo, the big semi trucks, the two yep. larger ones. Um, it's kind of made for that. But you can use it on anything with a fifth wheel. Um, use your imagination. Have some fun. It may not look right, but boy, it'll feel right. So there you go. Let's move on. <laughs> Sorry, um, say that again. Nope. Yep. Uh, <laughs> and your last uh, number five top mod of the week is Far Production. From Miss Omatana. So this is a farm production, basically, where you can do anything and take anything and make anything with it. Um, it is pretty insane. It's pretty She's epic. always got such crazy mods, bad. I'm telling you. And she manages um, to small for all platforms. Yeah. So um, instead of doing, like, distributing and making and stuff like that, you could yep. just throw stuff in and do it all in one. It'll distribute to itself. It's, it does it's what it needs of... to do. Krista and DJ's really trying hard to keep this PG. It's PG stands pretty good. I stand for that, which was pretty good. Leave me alone. <laughs> I haven't forgot my motto that, yet. Do you have that on like a clip somewhere? I feel like you should have oh, that clip somewhere. I not only have that. I mean, it was on my. I know that's your intro. Yeah. Well, you say it was my intro, so I Is haven't. Your edited, intro though. Look, I haven't edited the intro. I've I've got the script of it on my Apple Notes. I haven't edited that note since 2019. Shows you how much I've paid attention to streaming. When you think um, my, my uh, intro needs to be redone, holy. Uh, no, 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 no. I, I like in there making fun of you for looking like a Civic with a with a wing on the back. That I know. I haven't changed that one still. I mean, it's K-Bot's doing it. Cool. Yeah, just leave that the way it is. I like that people can still see me in a live stream. I mean, I don't know <laughs> what else you're going to be in a live stream anymore. You never, you never seem to do live streams anymore. So yeah, yeah, no, no we're we're not talking about it right now. Okay, I get. You know what? <laughs> anyway, are you uh, really? A, are you no. a YouTuber or a farm sim YouTuber if you don't have two live streams going on at the same time? 
man, nobody does that. Like you're you're not leading uh, <laughs> by example. You're leading by. Oh. <laughs> anyway, I'm, go, I'm uh, just getting the dice out and just throwing them yeah. against the wall right now and see what happens. Hey, look, it's one all of, sixes. No, yeah, one of them, yeah, one of them broke. One landed on a two. All right, just leave it be. <laughs> uh, and there's a dent in your wall now. Uh, anyway, <laughs> this is this is one of those mods where I think everyone should have it and check it out. I used it. I think it's on tomorrow's episode of Ohio. Um, but I I deleted it. And then a friend of mine messaged me. And they're like, you know, you could do this with the production chain, right? I'm like, oh, redownload. Anyway, uh, it's a pretty cool, man. I like yeah, it. You absolutely love the production chains right now. And it kills me. It absolutely makes me laugh so hard that you are all about it. I'm all about it. Um, I'm also all about great mod updates. Womp, womp, womp. Um, so I got some for you. You want to hear them? I do. I do. I don't know which update we're talking about right now. The meow. <laughs> meow. Uh, meow. the the Frankenmuth. You know the one that you didn't think existed. Uh, yep. That's first. Okay. Oh, well, I, I know that now. <laughs> he uh, changed the street lights for a new style soy bean harvest ready texture. That's been changed. He added yep. more paintable ground textures in the construction menu, and no new save is required. Um, I didn't see that. I, I missed all yeah. this. I thought this was one point seven. Man, it's so weird if you just watch my videos every day. It'd be so cool. Um, Celebuki uh, released <laughs> Iowa Plains View. Uh, fixed the VGA bell trigger, changed road textures, and no new save game is required for that as well. I would say that's probably one of the most popular American maps on Mod Hub right now. So check Fair that enough. out. Uh, the pole yep. trailer from Gamer Design. So you added rear tension straps and corrected center mass. The straw bell trailer from Calaruga Modding which was also a Camara mod on PC. Um, he rebuilt the model completely and fixed the problem with auto loading. So big trailer, big auto load capacity. And then lastly, the Meridian Grim bin pack from BC it's Bueller awesome. Farms. Listen to this. Change the fill types, which adds support for Edgewater, oh. Saskatchewan. Oh, man. And lime storage in the fertilizer bins. Did I say that right? I, I don't know. It sounds pretty darn close. Are you trying to? You do want to say Saskatchewan again? Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan. Juan. It's, it's the Square Province. Let's just go with that. Saskatchewan Square, Ron. <laughs> Saskatchewan Square. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Sask good. Uh, you, you've been playing Edgewater as well, right? Yeah, I've been playing on a little bit. Uh, I'm actually playing on that off screen more than anything. Yep. So it's it's pretty cool. Another another great map that hopefully we'll be seeing oh, soon. I didn't everywhere. Even know I was I didn't even know I was streaming on YouTube right now. What's up, Riley? Does that make you feel good, Clutch? It does. Go for it. <laughs> so I, just... I don't think I've ever been asked to give somebody a shouty outy on somebody <laughs> else's channel. <laughs> or the fact that I'd shouty outies in my vocabulary now and I didn't think about it till I'd said it all. <laughs> full squares. Full squares. There you go. Um, that's kind of it for the mods. I mean, there's not a lot of cross-play or PC-only mods. Um, mod network has been fairly quiet for the most part. Nothing too crazy, of course. I don't know. It's been... Uh, you can see my monitor reflecting in my... I, yeah, look. I can see something. Oh, right, yeah, you can. Look right, at that. The little, um, the little, the little, this no, here our, thing right here. Our, yeah, our, our dock is... You upgraded your mic stand. I've had this forever, man. It's been like Have a you? year. Really? Year. I thought you were still using that little crappy one from, from Amazon. Uh, I don't have that. Sorry, How did I not notice this? Yeah, I've had this for like a year. Well, welcome to the road crew again or something. I mean, it's a thing. The road glad crew. See, glad to see you upgraded. Yeah, <laughs> and, and I'm glad to see you I using the... the I'm the still using the same micro. The, I, I keep on talking about upgrading the microphone. Did you, did you tell everybody who picked that one out for you? I mean, it, it was cheap, so yes. You you did ask. Granted, it's four years old, almost five years old at this point. It's a great mic. I don't. It's see, a great it, mic. It's a cheap. It's a. I mean, it's similar to the microphones I've used in the past, but it's even like one level down. I should have. I I could have went with a fifty-eight. I don't know if I needed mm -hmm. to go to a fifty-eight. It's pretty much the same. I got thing. a got a fifty-eight. If you, you want to send it to me, send it to me. Well, I was supposed to say if you want to listen to it, I got the SM7B. If you want to listen to it side by side as well, I could do that for you. I could set up a microphone test, just me and you and Discord. You know how many micro how many microphones do you have on your shelves back there? Look, they're not on shelves anymore. They're in a drawer in the storage room that I remodeled last year. How much? How much have you spent on microphones? Do you think over the course of the last five years? Five? Yeah. 
Um, do we do, do we want to talk about this? I mean, do you need do you have to oh, go to a special less, group to talk about your microphone addiction? Less, less. Uh, I've spent less on microphones in the past five years than I did the previous five. Okay, well, How, since you've been a YouTuber, I guess. Yeah. However, however, uh, I am on my fourth microphone setup. I've had this for a couple years now, I think, right? Yeah, it's Since been a while. Like 2019, something That's like that. That's not the blue, though, right? You used to have that, uh, that had blue the, mic had, you used to like. I had the blue bluebird. It was just way too, like, sibilant. Yeah. Sibilance was too much. Um, and uh, I did have the SM7B, which he accidentally charged me 350 for the microphone and the preamp for it, which just got him. Um, <laughs> and then the uh, I had the SM27. Or no, the KSM twenty seven from Short, which was an old, uh, yeah, uh, you know the the new SM twenty seven um, large diaphragm. It's a black microphone. Yeah. Anyway, that was the the like premium version of that microphone beforehand. You got um, way too many. Anyway, so that's what I started with. But that was my like inside. That was my sub kick mic when I was a sound engineer. If anybody doesn't know, I was a sound engineer and DJ before I started doing this. So I had uh, fifty, a hundred microphones, something like that ridiculous got just a few too many well i sold most of them don't get me <laughs> wrong here but i, 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 kept, I kept i kept some of them kept some, kept some of the good ones anyway, uh, morris is asking you how you get under the map to delete trees and bushes oh yeah 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 okay so there's a mod called player action camera i think it's from wobster and all you do is just scroll your mouse down yep and and that'll that'll allow you to kind of go under the map and then utilize the easy dev controls delete function Yep. And then just go up to it and wait till the tree like shows up in the icon bar at the bottom. Or you could just be like, ah, why you move your name? Clutch the board already. <laughs> yeah, he does. I um, asked I ask him a question and sometimes I regret it for all, about five minutes while I realize that he's going to talk about right. things. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I'm passionate about that. I love it. it. Totally. Also, I got, I got, there's, there's another, another thing I got. Uh, does anybody know about the new Lego sets that were released oh, this month? Boy. So, there's a the Paul Walker car from Too Fast Too Furious. <laughs> oh no, no, they didn't. Did they really? Yeah, they did. They did the skyline. <laughs> okay, well, so they sold out immediately. They sold out immediately. They're extremely hard to get a hold of. They're going for like, uh, they're, it's a twenty five dollar set. But they're going for like close to a hundred dollars at this point. <laughs> and people are just gonna crash them. And I. Stop. Don't do that. Um, <laughs> anyway, I saw that they were going for like massive amounts. I was like, this is going to be worth something in 10 years. So I ordered two. I got put on a back order list from Lego.com. I never bought Legos from the website. Anyway, they came. So if anybody wants one in five years, let me know. I got you. In five years. Yeah. That way I can buy another microphone or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> you might be able to buy a new computer with it by then. Yeah, I think so. Um, uh, more nerd talk. Give me more. All right. Um, <laughs> <more nerd talk. laughs> you know what dj's got you covered with the nerd talk uh so wait till uh, he starts talking about building computer are you building a pc anytime soon no like, what's, act, what's but, the next specs going to be for the next farm sim like that's gonna be the next question like are you uh, going to need like, no, how much I, power are you going to need for the next one no i'm waiting on the new uh the mac studio with the m1 uh or the m2 ultra chip Yep. And I'm, I may have to snag that because the M2 Max that is releasing next week, they're already showing benchmarks of it, and it is better than what I've got currently. Right is it now. really? Yeah. It's, it's I'm just, cool. I, I've been on the fence on updating or building a second as well. I'm like, the 40, the 40 uh, series graphics cards seem like they've been just a disaster. Yeah. Like so much. I don't, I don't even have one yet. <laughs> Yeah, like there's the people that have got that they've had a bunch of overheating problems. If you don't have the right cords, it seems like going into them. I'm like, I just don't want to deal with any of that. So I've held off a little bit longer now. And I'm like, well, maybe I'll just wait for the next generation. Yeah. Now, I don't know. You're still running a 3900X with a 2080 Ti. That's what's in my streaming PC. Yeah. It records my gameplay. Yeah. So I'm still I, running that. That's what we're on right now. I mean, it runs perfectly fine. I don't really have any problems with it. Yeah. But I would love to just make that my streaming PC is what I'd like to do. And then have... A new one as my gaming PC. We'll see if we get to that. But that was the plan was to do a 3900 or a 49 or a 4090. 
or 4080 Ti or something along those lines, along with what the 5700. Uh, maybe now. I'll wait now. I don't know. Yeah. Um, somebody who didn't wait was a man <laughs> in Boone, North Carolina, driving his old <laughs> John Deere tractor. You got this? Yeah, show this. All right. So if you guys don't know, I used to live here. And this man led police. North Carolina man on stolen tractor leads cops on wild chase. I can't read the, the article of the right. Holy man. Oh. I really, really <laughs> wish that none of this was true. Uh, footage captures <laughs> the loop. chase. In what long... is going on in Boone? <laughs> man, there, there, there's a lot of pop-ups right now, aren't there? Um, <laughs> North Carolina man wielding a knife tried to mow down pedestrians with a stolen tractor before leading police on a wild chase for several miles. Cobb said, <laughs> police said they were conceived a call about a tractor being driven erratically and intentionally chasing down people in a Boone parking lot on Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> the driver struck several cars in a dumpster and even a church. <sighs> now to be fair you know what's funny about this too i had two people send this article to me like hey look this is where dj used to live I'm like what uh, the video shows it will show the video if i can shows at least a, or at least several i love how it says at least several law enforcement <laughs> cars pursuing john deere tractor as it swerves down a town road i used to live down the road that it got stopped on that's awesome um, Plows through a stop sign and heads into Route 421 intersection, which is actually the first intersection when you come into town. Like it goes from a highway into a road at that point. People just fly through there at like 80 <laughs> miles an hour. Um, at least eight cop cars with flashing lights met at the junction in an effort to stop the farming vehicle, but the tractor <laughs> continued rushing through the red light. The entire hours-long chase did not exceed speeds of 20 miles an hour. They shot his tire off. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's not even a full cap. Like, this is what is... So he beat it at this poor... T I feel so bad for this beautiful tractor. Uh, he So they tried to stop him with spike strips. And they couldn't... <laughs> Because the, the, the tires popped with spike strips. They said the spike. There's another article that was actually from Boone. This is from the New York Post. The one in Boone said that the spike strips were deployed and were unsuccessful. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, this dude, I don't know what he was on, but the cops shot his tire off after getting a permission. They made sure to say that. But they shot his tire off. He stopped on this road and jumped off the tractor with a knife. <laughs> And went after the cops and they tased him. <laughs> it's an open cab tractor. It's not going to be going that far. Like this thing, that Miss Max is out at like 30 kilometers an hour, right? That's, like, what is, well, all right. So, one of the things right here. So, this is, uh, this is one of the roads. And up here's the intersection that was like the big intersection right over the hills of tractor supply. <laughs> <laughs> This might be one of the greatest lines. The stolen tractor was being operated by a person <laughs> who we were very familiar with, Mr. Ronnie. <laughs> 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 Cops tried to use stop sticks to halt Hicks and he barreled towards oncoming traffic, but the tire deflation device was no match for the John Deere. I'm surprised there's not more comments about John Deere versus Case in the chat right now, to be honest with you, because... <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. Yeah, they they uh, gave his officers the go ahead to shoot out the tractor's front tire. Hicks was able to continue driving for several more miles without a tire, but he eventually pulled into a private drive. Mister Hicks then jumped off the tractor and was wielding a knife. <laughs> oh boy! Holy, is this for, do, you, do you know this guy? Is he buddies with you? Uh, buddies with yours? <laughs> but it's just I'm dead this is so funny <laughs> cops have not yet announced charges against him an officer deployed a taser and took Hicks into custody and ended the wild tractor chase holy I had I, mean... I had so hard I had to share this with you guys I've been waiting all week for this because Yo said it was a bad idea to talk about this in Farms and News I mean I guess. I think it's pretty <laughs> funny. <laughs> oh, 
How great is that? Uh, <laughs> I've I've waited all week to share this with like you. Like I said, I had two people send me messages about like, did you know this is DJ's hometown? I'm like, yep, that makes sense. That's <laughs> No, nothing runs like a deer, does it, Chris? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, like I said, I was hoping for more. Uh, I don't know if it was a case, he wouldn't have got stuck or, or stopped or something uh, along those lines. <laughs> so, <laughs> no. other, it sounds like, other than a little property damage and maybe a couple holes in his chest where the taser went in, um, it sounds like everybody's okay. Um, <laughs> that that the tractor, I've never seen a totaled tractor before, but there you go. I'm, I'm not sure that tractor's. I don't think they're gonna have to worry too much about that one. Putting it in the uh, Boone Police uh, oh, lockup. <laughs> High speed chase speeds twenty three miles an hour. Yeah, oh, no, well, they boy. never they never exceeded twenty. Uh, <laughs> anyways, so that's where I used to live for thirteen <laughs> years. I, you would have fit right in. I feel like. I mean, you should take your Kubota and go out for a, see if you can get a, a police chase going on. I don't know if you can last longer. Well, I can't get the tra- I can't get Kubota to go that fast. Well, I mean, it, it'll be I safer run, then. I, have, I could run faster than I, that Kubota <laughs> could drive, but the Kubota, no matter the end in place, the Kubota will get there faster because I'll stop running eventually. <laughs> oh, uh, but what do you got planned this weekend? All right, so mom's birthday's tomorrow. Oh, happy birthday it's to mama! Exciting. Sent her some flowers for her birthday. She got them nice. yesterday. Nice. Uh, Thank you guys for watching the videos. Um, and uh, let's see, I got tomorrow's got three videos. Sunday, I got two. Uh, but yeah, going out for mom's birthday tomorrow with the family. That's about it. That's it, huh? That's cool. Well, let me go, go for birthday. I like that. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Honestly, I'm surprised Boone PD doesn't have a, a tractor as a cop vehicle. I'm really surprised now that you mentioned that. Well, I mean, the tractor supply was just down there. They must have had a couple of tractors at Tractor Supply they could have borrowed. They could have had like a little, uh, little duel off. It just, it cracks me up because that big intersection, they had to cr- crest the hill as soon as they go back down. Like, how many miles did he make it? Did they say the total miles they went? Uh, like, was it like 15 miles? Like, how far a, was he driving down well, the road and they couldn't figure out what to do with this guy? It was an hour long chase going yeah, 20 miles so, an hour. So, okay. maybe 10? 10, 10 to 20 miles, maybe. Like, uh, you got to think though, like they could have just cut him off probably with a cop car. I probably didn't want to damage the cars, but they could have just cut him off and forced him yeah. into a ditch somewhere, and it would have been probably stuck at some point. I, for the people that lived in Boone, because plenty of people made sure I knew about this. Um, <laughs> it sounds like that he was like driving over the edge of the front of a couple cars. So, hmm. yeah, <laughs> I just, I just can't. Uh, I would love to see it. Um, speaking of uh, mini road trips, I'm out of here this weekend. I'm gone. So you guys have a good weekend. Um, I'm just <laughs> driving out of here. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, Matt, that may be the best. Over there? That most must be the best comment of the day. <laughs> <laughs> Worker Hicks has stopped working unexpectedly. No front left tire found. <laughs> Exit tractor with knife. <laughs> Yo, speaking of, you remember that uh, Farmer Wars game that we talked about like two mm-hmm. years ago? Yeah. It still still doesn't have a release day. No, I don't know what's going on with it. It's, uh, I don't know if the developers are like, that's obviously a tiny development company. Yeah. But I'd love to see it. I if would. they're ever making it. It'd be, it yeah. looks like it'd be fun. Or maybe it'd be actually stupid and no one wants to play it. Who knows? <laughs> All right. I came here I, for the member measuring contest. Did I miss the clickbait? <laughs> the, the clickbait was uh, we kind of clickbaited ourselves and freaked out for an hour. Um, kind of, not really. I mean, it's still it's still a thing. It still happened. Uh, yeah, it it did still happen, and we went through the proper channels, but we did bamboozle ourselves a bit. <laughs> Anyway, I, I think that's all I got for today, man. I, I'm out of stuff. I am completely done talking about things. Fair enough. I, I, I would just like to point out that I'm technically live, actually in four different locations right now. So if you're not watching Clutch Streams, what are you even doing with your lives? I'm just saying. Goodness four gracious. different places, live right meow. 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 <laughs> and in two different, technically two different time 
time zone areas. Technically <laughs> more than two. <laughs> well, okay. Um, I think, I don't know if what my streams, what time my streams live right now last night. I don't know what part it's in, but it's probably about uh, like eight o'clock last night right now. What's this? What do we got going on here? <laughs> Baba. <laughs> worker Hicks chases farm owner DJ with his tractor because he called him an idiot worker. <laughs> Cheers, Boba. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, uh, man. Too much oh. fun. So I'm going to be gone this weekend. DJ is not going to be gone. He's making videos. Uh, you should well, do a live stream for me while you're on it. You should. I'm, I, I don't. All right, look. No, but um, yeah, nah. I got five <laughs> videos coming out this weekend. There you go. Stay tuned for DJ's to channel. He's got lots of stuff coming out for you guys. Unless it's Mama's birthday celebration weekend. Yeah, fair enough. All right. Well, let's wrap her up then and get out of here. Um, I think you've got uh, stuff to do today. I've got stuff to do today. And yep. we will see you guys oh, next week at some point in time. There's one other video we got to show and then we can roll yeah, we'll the do it on the way out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll let you do all that. I'll just step back. Are you stepping back? Yep. I wasn't okay. driving the tractor. No, sir. Not me, <laughs> officer. <laughs> Not me. Uh, well, thanks for watching, you guys. You guys are amazing. Uh, we'll see you guys next week. I think Friday is probably good. If not, we'll we'll Thursday, Saturday. Who knows? Stay tuned. We'll post it. We'll talk about it in the live stream. We'll figure it not, out. DJ's no plans. Not Saturday. Anything but not Saturday. Yeah. Got yeah. It. yeah. Fair enough. All right. <laughs> can, you, can you do that move again? I like. <laughs> Have you been like? I feel like even my kids have been watching you because that's all they do now. The two moves you just did, it's painful. Anyways, Glad. I'll see you guys later on. Um, DJ, tell us about G Portal. Thank you to G Portal for sponsoring this episode of the Farm Sim Show podcast. They host premium game servers for Farming Simulator 22 that work on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. Clutch and I have both been working with them for the past few years, and they have hosted our public and private game servers ever since. If you're looking for an easy way to play multiplayer with your friends, this is the best way to do it. G Portal servers allow you to have full control over your game, what mods are installed, permissions, and the game can be available 24-7. For Farm Sim 22, they've got a few different server options for four players all the way up to 16 and you can get an extra 25 gigabyte of mod space choose between nine different server locations around the world to host your game and you're ready to go if you're interested in grabbing a game server for you and your friends use the link for clutch or myself at the top of the description and get 10 percent off all g portal game servers right now again thank you to g portal for sponsoring this episode of the farm sub show pod <laughs> Yeah, why did you decide to like make the biggest clickbait title ever? Like what what was wrong with that? I said you needed to call people first and be like, hey, is this alright? Why? I, I try to call people every time I call. I'm like, hello, hello, is anybody there? They just hang up. Like, yeah, people got like phone caller ID and like ears. They hear this and like, eh, I don't want that click. Well, then why should I call people? They should call me. Yeah, well, all right, look, every time people call you, you're oh, busy right now. I can't talk. Bye. That doesn't sound like my voice at all. <laughs> You need to practice your imitations, bro. Alright, alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. Ah, oh, hey guys, I'm k -Bot. Look at me right now. Oh, I got such a big head, and I'm like, ah, in thumbnails. Oh, that sounds about, that sounds about right. Um, there was something about a member measuring contest. What was that about? I don't understand. Are we doing, are we doing that too? No, <laughs> no. That was all your handler and that weird other guy. Did you just say handler with member measuring contest at the same time? That's really kind of weird, dude. It, it happened. <laughs> oh, yeah, it definitely did. Um, so I'm, I'm, I've got to go. I've got to get my measuring tape. I'll see you guys next week. Bye! Oh, I, don't, I don't want to be part of that. Bye!